everybody. Welcome to Granny Fit Day 69. Today Canada goes to the polls and I'm a polling officer. So I'm leaving in a few minutes to spend 14 hours sitting at a desk in a polling station in Shallow Lake. South, no, South, no, Shallow Lake Community Church. Shallow Lake Community Church. And so it's a long day ahead of me. So I need to do stretches because I pulled and hurt every muscle in my body doing the floor over the weekend. So today all we're going to do is some um, uh, wake up stretches and uh, limber up stretches to prepare my body to do 14 hours of sitting and pulling. <laughs> so uh, here we go. I'm going to start with my upper body because my shoulders and my wrists are really, really sore from all the sanding. So I'm just going to do this breathing and relaxation thing to try to get you physically ready. I uh, didn't sleep well last night, naturally. That's the way I am. Whenever I'm doing something I've never done before, I'm apprehensive. And uh, so I will toss and turn. I can't poor Erica awake. Kind of use time to like calm me and pray. Mm -hmm. It's okay. You can do this. But there's a lot of things you do with a polling clerk I wasn't aware of. <laughs> it's not just checking numbers and names off. So, and of course I prayed through the night that a man who seeks after God's heart would be elected in so that our country continue to have the blessing of God on it as has been evident through this time of recession and destruction in the world. So if you're a person who seeks after God's heart, seek God's will for our nation today, get out there and vote. I can really feel this in my body all over. There we go. So we do some limbering up stretches. My camera is still really close from my Bible reading last night, so we're just going to have to trust me. The sides of the stiffer as usual. I don't know why it's always so difficult to bend uh, down to the right. This is my, my right knee and my right side are always difficult. Just do my back stretches. Ten. Ten. I just had a shower because I'm, my whole house is full of sawdust and they told us to wear something like black, no political colors. And uh, black's not a good color to wear when you've just sanded your floors down your whole house is covered in dust. So now there's kind of like a, a dusty haze on everything. And we don't work on Sundays so I didn't I get it all cleaned up. And polling day is today. So the dust will be here till Tuesday. And so, my nice little black outfit that I'm wearing today, everything I touch, <laughs> I have to wipe off. So, I'm trying to make sure that everything that's going to have to sit for 14 hours is feeling better. I actually hear my, my knees creaking.
pull, 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 pull. Feel that stretch. And now, uh, your knees up. Leg up as high as you go. And stretch. Stretch, 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 stretch. And your legs up. Studying the book, they talked about being prepared for all kinds of things. Some of it was things that I would be used to being prepared for in our country. But they talked about terrorist attacks, bomb threats. And someone comes into the polling station and tries to steal the voting box. All kinds of stuff that I thought, oh my goodness, what did I drop all the deer for? In our country, those things are relatively unheard of. In other countries, I'm not sure where you're watching this from. That may be that day-to-day that -day way of thinking in election time. It's not the way that I want it to be now, Julie. And that's not the way I want our country to go. So I'm really praying that God will in this election. Because God promises to bless his people with peace in the land as long as they seek him and serve him. So I'm praying that we have good leadership. You read the Old Testament, you read what happens to a nation and a people when they have a bad leader. It's like how goes the leader goes the nation. And so I pray that for the sake of us and our children and our grandchildren, we can get godly leadership. Someone who realizes the power and the authority of God and realizes the importance of obedience. So. We had a good Sunday yesterday. We had to read the word over and over again because YouTube was having issues with us again. Or we were having issues with them, I don't know which. But after we uploaded, we went to worship, of course, with our family of worshipers. It was an awesome worship service. We had an amazing time at the altar. And there was a lot of people there because there was a Christian school, about 80, approximately 80 young people in the choir singing for us. And uh, they did really well. And uh, then afterwards we went and visited people. And we visited uh, one, two, three different couples um, throughout the afternoon and each one was amazing. We had an absolutely amazing lunch in a middle meal where they cook really wholesome, wholesome food, healthy, wholesome food, organic, and uh, if you're celiac, celiac, you know, safe. And uh, they make the most amazing broccoli soup. It's just filled with broccoli. And then we visited some people who bought a, a this reed center and are remodeling it and getting it ready. And uh, it looks like a good project. And then we visit the couple that we love and know for years that uh, seek after the Lord and had an amazing visit there. And then we visited an interesting man that my husband works with. He's turned a motorcycle into something that goes up into the Arctic. It's got uh, the wheels pop off and then a, like a skidoo track goes on it. And he's taking a CBC camera crew. And he's going way up in the north, and I think he's taken history. He's calling it the bad boys of Canada. Apparently we have our own Jesse James and all that kind of stuff. So he's taking a look at the history trip. He's taking Canada history up north, to the Indian or whatever. So he'll be taking time off of work to do this. So it was very interesting, and he's bought an old, old, over a hundred year old church building and he's restored it into a home. Well, not restored it, renovated it into a home. And uh, that's a really interesting project. He's doing a really good job. So it was a really fruitful day. Then we came home and we had to do some more Bible reading because I'm on elections today and YouTube wouldn't give us sound. So we were up till midnight working on that. But anyways, all in all, it was an amazing Sunday. The weather was great. The room was great. It was so nice to get <coughs> feel that warm spring wind blowing.
Uh, this is about all the time I have to spend with you right now. I have to finish packing up lunch and getting everything ready. And I don't know what to do. And mix myself something hot in the thermos. Stop at McDonald's and get a muffin and head out. Where I'm going is out of town. So just over a half hour drive. If I go through town, it'll be longer. <laughs> so um, God bless you. Thanks for joining me for Granny Fit today. If you're a praying person, think of me, say a prayer. <laughs> because it's going to be hard to sit that long after working so hard on the weekend when everything is so stiff. So I'll see you tomorrow, and I'll let you know how the election goes. Have a great day.